Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are taking a look at all the awesome stuff added in the Southeast Asia Animal Pack DLC and the 1.5 free update that came along with it. So to get started, first I'm actually going to make it so that we can actually see. Yeah, I'll turn the weather off that way. Everything looks good. So first up is our Babarusa. So this was uh, in the social media described as the North Wasey Babarusa. Uh, however, it is tagged in the animal trading and everything as just Babarusa. I'm hoping it's that way in the files. If so, thank you, Frontier. You've made this very easily moddable. Awesome animals. So I know we all wanted to see the baby. Um, we have babies. Look at the baby. It is so cute. They they are a little fat. Um, actually, they, they are a lot fat. That very, very fat pigs. This is kind of like you know, frontier fat animal syndrome at this point, but we, you know, we can deal with that. Uh, we might remaster this with a mod or something, but amazing, awesome, great looking. We have finally have a new pig species, so yay! Now, Babarusa does not have its sign yet. All the other animals have sign for some reason, Babarusa doesn't. It's going to be getting one shortly. So, moving on. This is the animal that caused all the controversy. <laughs> it is our Binturong. And let's take a look at him. So we're having a group feed over here. Of course, they're, they're all in the grass. Let's get rid of the grass really quick. There we go. Now we can see them. And look at this. Look at how good they look in game, you guys. Look, look at the movement on this animal. This doesn't move like a cat. It doesn't move like a red panda. It actually moves like a viverid. Yeah, the, the fur, they like, even got, like, the weird, rough fur texture right on it. The face looks great, the ear tufts look great, the babies are just insanely cute. And I want to see if they'll, they'll do it. Now, in the Frontier uh, Planet Zoo livestream that went on earlier today, they actually did show off one of the very unique animations that these animals will do. Okay, so his climbing is slightly broken. You okay there, buddy? What are you doing? Are you stuck? Look at that face. Okay, we have a sideways cat, a bear cat here. But, they showed it off. This animal, you know how I was saying, well, the Bentrong has a prehensile tail, but I strongly doubt we'll get It'll actually be a prehensile tail in the game. Come on, do it. Do your animation. It's actually a prehensile tail. So I'm gonna keep an eye on these and see if they'll they'll actually do their little hanging from their tail animation. Because they have an actual prehensile tail in the game. That is a brand new animation. No other animal in this game has that. So there is that. We do have a sign for the Binturong. Now I will state this. Um, the signage in this game, and in this new pack, is a little bit hit or miss. This, in my opinion, is miss. I don't know what happened with the Binturong, it just didn't get as much attention as the rest of the animals, but it's kind of a weird, janky sign, and doesn't really fit with everything else. But hey, we got a sign for it, so... Yes, our decrepit bear cat Grumpy old man of the forest animal is in game and it's awesome and look at it climb. They really did work on the climbing animations for these animals, so it's fantastic. So we're gonna move on to our clouded leopard next. Absolutely one of my true true favorites here. Not sure what okay, what's going on here? Ah, come on, camera behave. So yeah, climbing animations are still a little bit weird. I'm really not sure what's going on with the uh, Zero-G cat here. But, they have improved them. They, they do climb better than some of the other ones. I really hope to see these new animations of why to like the, uh... Well, okay, maybe not that one. Oh my god. <laughs> um... Come here, just, just go, go over there and stop being weird. <laughs> there we go. 
Okay, so the climbing animations are still a little bit rough. They have worked on them, obviously. They've tried to improve them quite a bit. Uh, the baby. The baby clad leopard is just so stinking cute. Look at this. So this is going to be the cat rig of choice for me for modding from now on, I think. At least until the next pack comes out. It's so well done. The animations are fantastic. The tail, it doesn't do the weird curl that the, uh, the jaguar tail does. Yeah, so neat. So we now have a smaller cat in the game. It's fantastic. This is one of the enrichment items, uh, one of two that came with the Southeast Asia animal pack. So this is a paid DLC item, but it is the hammock. I believe the Sun Bear and the Cod Leopard can use it, possibly the Draw as well. Let's take a look here in our Enrichment tab. It's under the Toys, so it is, yeah, just Sun Bear and Cod Leopard. Oddly enough, the um, Venturong can't use it, which is kind of surprising. That's alright, uh, maybe they'll add that in at some point if we ask them nicely. Like to see other and love to see the other big cats in game actually be able to use this thing, and it is flexi color, so we can totally we can change the color of the trees. We can change the color of the hammock itself, which is just awesome. And I just want to point out the level of detail on this is incredible. Now the trees are part of it. Uh, it's all kind of one group, so we have our you know, our, our fake trees. Uh, so they are... Uh, it does come as one group. I don't think we can, like, split it up or anything like that. No, we can't. That's alright, because look at the detail on it. It's got the ropes, it's got the safety thing, it's got the bolts and the chains. And this is, like, wow. So, and then Cloud and Leopards have their sign, so... Very, very different from the Benterong sign. Uh, kind of cartoony style. Very pretty. Very nice. I'll be using these quite a bit. I like them. Next up is our Dole. So, uh, again, on social media, they were uh, called the User Dole in game. They are just Dole. Very nice. Zipedia. Uh In the Zipedia, they are described as the User Dole, but. Uh, hopefully, uh, just as their tag and their files are just dull, which is going to make it very, very nice to work with in terms of modding. So we have our smaller canid rig. Um, they are kind of dingoey. Uh, the head is slightly weird. Uh, it, this is a little bit of weirdness, but I love them. Uh, beautiful. Look at the fluffy tail on them. The baby. Look at the baby. Just stinking cute! So we have another Kanid to play with. Thrilled to have this. Gonna be great. I, I can't wait to actually put these guys in my zoo and their, uh, their sounds. They actually do the dull whistle sound, which is awesome. Hopefully they'll do it. Will you do it? Come on guys, do your whistle. No? Okay, they're not going to do their whistle. And then we have the signs for the dole. Now, these ones are much more in line with some of the uh, the other signage that we already have for uh, some of the base game animals, so it's very similar to... Uh, let's have a good example of, like, the jaguar. So it's in that same kind of style. Which is different from that, which is more kind of like the aquatic pack sign style, and then I, I have no idea what that is. Alright, so next up is our proboscis monkey. We should give them a little bit of climbing. They could use climbing here. Have a lemur climbing frame. Guys, so... Yeah, these guys, highly, highly anticipated. They look extraordinary. Uh, everyone was correct, that was a baby in the screenshot. Uh, here's our, uh, okay, pause, I just want okay, here's a good comparison, we got the baby here, the darker face, the smaller nose, with the female, the female looks amazing, we didn't actually get to see her in the trailer or in the screenshot reveal, she looks great, the detail on these things is incredible, I love it, look at him, 
And their swimming animations are fantastic. I didn't put any water in this habitat, but they do swim, and they look honestly weird as hell swimming, but they're supposed to look weird as hell when they swim. It's it's very, it's a very human-like animation. It's weird to watch. But, yeah. So these are our awesome proboscis monkeys. Be super, super fun to play with. So moving on, we have our sun bears. Oh, proboscis monkey sign. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what that is, or what they're doing, or, um, yeah, so, like I said, signage is hit or miss. That one's a miss in my book. Moving on to the sun bear. So, they're, they're, they're a bit, uh, they're, they're, they're chunky. They're really chunky. I was hoping they'd be a little bit slimmer, a little bit kind of lankier in that weird weird sun bear way that they have but it's all right they're amazing the detail on them the okay pause as well i want to see your face look at the wrinkles on that head and that's not just a texture that's actually modeled look at that it may be a displacement map that the way they did that but oh looks so good the fur texture is just spot on so look at that uh, they need lots of climbing, everything, so they, they do use the hammock. We should have- oh, there's a baby. There's a baby. Baby is just stupid cute. Love it. And then over here we have the uh, food enrichment for- specifically for these guys, so the only ones that can use it. The foraging wall. So we got one habitat enrichment, or one toy enrichment, which is the hammock, one food enrichment, which is the foraging wall. I'd love to see this added for the other bear species. Probably won't be because it's a paid DLC item. So again, this does not come with the 1.5 update. This does come with the Southeast Asia Animal Pack itself. Yeah, and then all oh, our some bear signs. Um, uh, kind of weird. I mean kind of weird. Like I said, hit or miss on the sign. It's like, I, I guess it was kind of supposed to be similar to like, or are they these? Kind of in that similar style? I, I don't quite get it though. Um, alright. But hey, we should be able to mod in scenery pieces at this point. We can make our own signs now. And then next up, last of our animals here we have the Malayan tapir so we were right it is a, just Baird's tapir reskin um i mean the males might have a little bit of a longer snout but not by much uh, they, they still got the little work there uh I'll take a close look at you here this guy's in the light real good yeah he's still got the wart still got the uh now are you okay so you're a female you're a male you're a female you're a male. Yeah, they don't have too much uh, sexual dimorphism with, between these guys. Basically kind of look the same. Um, but you know what? I'm fine with a reskin for these. It, it doesn't, doesn't bother me that they didn't, you know, scale up the, the trunk or anything significantly. Because you know what? I'm just going to watch them run around the habitat that I built for them. I'm not going to be, like, zoomed in staring at their face all the time. Oh my god, look at the animation on the truck. That's close. Look. It's fine. And then look at the babies. I mean, look at how stinking adorable the babies are. So, yeah. Um, just the quality on these animals in this pack is just extraordinary. And then we have to take your sign. I love this sign style. I love it. It's very similar to the aquatic back signs, uh, like these. Maybe not that similar. This is actually better. I wish we had signs of this style and this quality for every animal in the game. Because they're nice. They're just really, really nice. So, moving on, we're going to look at the free update items that came with 1.5. So, starting with our statues. So we have, first up, a Paparusa reward statue. These are the reward statues from the career mode. These are our new, our new incentive to play career mode. 
and they are awesome. So look at the Babarusa. It's just, it's literally just a, the in-game model frozen with the stone texture on it. It looks great. So we've got our orangutan, pandas, and they do come in stone, bronze, silver, and gold, uh, depending on the level at which you beat it. We've got a flamingo statue. We've got penguin, which we already had, the concrete penguin statue. The lions look awesome. So another lion statue. Is it significantly different than the lion that we already had? Let's see. Uh, statues. So, also, there is a new tab here under, uh, so construction centerpieces and then reward statues is where all of these live where all of these will appear as you unlock them, and they are whatever you unlock in career mode is usable in Sandbox Challenge Franchise. Let's see, where is our uh, in-game lion? So is that significantly? Oh, it's smaller. Oh, that's nice. A little bit smaller. Uh, it, is slight, it is a slightly different, uh, different model. Awesome. Cool. That's great. And check out the saltwater crocodile. Check it out. I want this in bronze. I really want this in bronze, because just stick that thing in the foliage beside a path. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome to walk past? And then we've got our giraffe, and a couple of wolf statues. So, yeah, thrilled. Super thrilled with these. This is the star of the 1.5 update, which is the screens, the projected, uh, the billboards. So, this is projection screen, 32 meter lit. Utterly massive. 32 meters. And we have an unlit version of each of these. So we have projection screen and the projection screen lit. Uh, I will show the difference at night. So that's the difference. So unlit, it's still visible. The lit ones, um... I'm not... It, it, it lights up everything. The big one will light your entire zoo. So, super awesome. We can choose, select basically whatever you want. You want to put the uh, the conservation education screens on. Awesome. You want to put a video on there? Look at that. You can have a 32 meter screen video playing across your zoo. And we have high res and low res. Oh, and you can just play the, the trailer too, like by, by default, just have the, the game trailer playing. This is so, so cool. And we can come in and select our advertising targets. So are we targeting a habitat, shop, exhibit, ride? We can come into here, change just about anything when you set it to a habitat. Oh look, the land tape here on an 8 meter lit screen. Then we have custom media. So add your own image to videos to documents slash frontier development slash planet zoo slash user media in PNG, JPEG, BMP, TIFF, Tartar, or WebM format. These are your aspect ratios. Uh, yeah, I've already gone into Photoshop and made a bunch of templates for this uh, just to use. If they're not showing up, you hit refresh user folder, it'll show up. Um, obviously, I don't have anything added right now. have some examples here that can just kind of tell you what the templates are for and how they look. Obviously, that's a tall one, so we start to a wide format. Uh, tells you, so the wide, large, what does it fit? If it's the projection screen, it's 8 meter, 16 meter, 32 meter. Medium, what does it fit? If it's the TV screens and the 4 meter projection screens. Super awesome addition. Like, these are awesome. These are so good. So we've got our square ones, we've got our smaller ones, which are just our standard like, uh, habitat uh, what am I trying to say? Habitat education boards and then we've got little itty bitty ones too. So, we have custom signage, and where are they? We have some props to go with them. 
Here we've got a screen mount pole, we've got a ceiling mount pole, and a wall mount for all these. We've got some props, so they don't just have to be floating in air. And then we've got a couple enrichment items that have come with the free pack. Uh, this rotting nasty thing over here is... Why can't I click on it? There it is. Block of frozen fish. So it's, yeah, we have a frozen fish feeder now. And it is useful for a wide variety of animals. Let's find here. Frozen fish is useful for most of the big cats. The polar bear, uh, all the bears, the gray seal, the caiman, the gharial, the otter, the croc. Yeah, uh, sun bear will take it. Amazingly enough, yeah, block of frozen fish. Is it useful for the penguin? Yes, it is useful for the penguin. So cool. And then we have some scratching trees. Scratching tree Scots pine and scratching tree tamarind. So these will be usable for the big cats. Let's find them here. They're in the toy enrichment. So for this one, oh, just about anything can use them. So not only for cats to like sharpen their claws on, it's useful for like every other animal in the game, just to, like rub up against and scratch on it. Everything from the lion to the camels and wow. And yeah, same thing with the uh, tamarind versions. We've got a tropical and a temperate version, basically. So it'll match our different uh, different habitat styles. So awesome addition. Yay. We didn't know that this was coming. We didn't know that this was coming. That's great. And then another huge change is the water. So one, you can just click on a body of water and it'll select it. You can rename that body of water. I can call that a lake. I can call that lake whatever. And we have some new tabs up here too. Connected objects. This will tell you if you plop down. Which I never do because I play in sandbox. Plop down a water temperature and a water treatment nearby. Now, click on that. Oh look, we have two connected objects. And we can click on those and go, okay, why is this working? Well, it works. It's, yeah, major quality of life change. But that's not even the best part. The best part is the color tab over here. We can tell it use natural color. We can have presets, clean water, dirty water. We have a few different themed sets. So Everglade, Amazon, Tropical. Look at how clear the tropical is. I'm going to use this a lot. Crystal. We have Azure. Ooh, look at that. That's like Caribbean blue right there. We've got Midnight. We've got Toxic. Huh. Now you want your crocodile swimming in a toxic waste dump? There you go. You can do that. You want them swimming in soda? Hey, we can do that too. There's the pip shot. And coffee. You want a coffee lake? Guess what? You can have a coffee lake now. We can change the transparency. We can make it super clear. We can make it super dark. We can manually change the color. We can make it strawberry milk. <laughs> we can make it... Uh, we can make it blood. We can do purple. We can do green. And we can make it black. <laughs> we can make it white, too. This is an amazing, amazing change. This is so good, and, and it's, I mean, the water still does its usual weird crap like that, and the paths don't play with it and all that, but you know what? Hey, they're working on it. We've asked for changes to the water so much, and now we have it, and we can just toggle between use natural color to swap back and forth. So... Whoa, okay, that's wild. I love it. Yeah, so that is some of the major additions. Uh, one thing I didn't place out here though, uh, if we go into guest facilities and zoo entrance and turn blueprints back on, guess what? We have zoo entrances now. 
Okay, some of those are blueprints. Some of these we have our African themed entrance. We have an aquatic themed entrance. Arctic. Australia. And what this means is so normally when you came into this tab, you just had these two little things only in sandbox mode zoo entrance and guest spawner. This tab didn't exist in the other modes, or if it did, it was empty. I actually can't remember because I've never, I don't play those other modes nearly enough. Now, in franchise, in challenge, I believe in career as well, you can just add in new zoo entrances. And you can use these default ones. They look amazing, as always. They fit the themes that we already have. That's our South American, the Indian. What are you? Australia. Okay, that looks a little funky. Arctic looks amazing, as always. Aquatic. And the African themed ones. Or you can build your own just by plopping down your guest spawners. Plopping down some zoo entrances to go next to them. And building away the way you do with any other building. So yeah, we can now have multiple zoo entrances in franchise, which means we no longer have to use uh, this thing. The the default weird one that's kind of off the edge of the map. Not sure if in franchise we can actually delete this one. In sandbox we can. I can actually just come in here, select all of that, delete, and it goes away. And now all these people are like stuck. Guess what? I'm gonna delete your paths. I mean, we can delete the paths in, and this is just in sandbox, delete it, and then come in and paint over the terrain like it was never there. I want to be able to do this in franchise. I'm gonna have to check it out and see if we can, because if that is the case, it means I'm gonna be redoing the entire entrance to Wildlife Trek, because I, I just. I've never been a fan of the default entrance, so <laughs> oh god, we're stuck. Uh, delete, okay. Maybe they should teleport over one of the other ones. There they go. So yeah, these are the awesome changes that came with 1.5 update. The awesome additions that came with the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. Oh, we have forgotten one thing, and I always forget about these guys. Leaf. The leaf. The... the living leaf thing. Uh, we're just gonna stick it right there, so that way we have it off the, uh, off of the path, and let's find it here. So our giant Malayan, Malaysian leaf insect. Adopt. 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 Select all, and plop them in, and yay! So let's see, can we find any of them? I've heard that these are very, very difficult to find in here. It's easier when you have a ton of them. But, let's see? Are, are they actually in here? There's gotta be one. Okay, we have to find one of them. And I know, I always forget that exhibit animals actually exist. They're, they're not my main thing that I... Oh, there's one. I see it. I see it. Oops, oops. There it is. There's our giant Malaysian leaf insect. Look at how well camouflaged it is! Oh, I love it! I love it, love it! It's so boring! Let's throw another 8 in. Now, apparently this select all multi-select function has come to, sand uh, to franchise. It's always been part of sandbox. Now, one thing they have done is in the uh, storage tab, you used to be able to just click on each one as we're going through. They now have a checkbox, you have to click on each and then hit send to send them all in bulk. Oh, there's another one! Look at him! If I get the camera to behave. Look at that! Such high fidelity for such a tiny little critter. Love it! So that is our leaf insect. Oh, let's see what kind of uh, layout we have for them. So we got the broken hollow log, the leaf litter, and the tropical plants. So pretty standard for a tropical exhibit. Climate. Oh, 
Uh, climb is pretty standard. Uh, windows. Can we close off some of our windows here? Got our 3D facade, so just the standard kind of rock wall facade. Looks really good though. I always like to put this on. I think it makes these old exhibits look a lot better to do that. Wish we had one for the ceiling. But yeah. So Malayan leaf insect. We finally have an Asian bug for our exhibit. Uh yeah, for our exhibits, we, we never had one before, I don't think. I don't think we had any Asian exhibit animal at all, so now we have that. So yeah, that is what we got. Can't wait to get in here. I'm going to jump over into Tahan Zoo. Very, very quickly get started on that proboscis monkey habitat. Try and get that video out by the end of the day, hopefully. If not, then tomorrow. So yeah, you guys, look at all the awesome stuff we got. And yeah, jump in, enjoy the pack, uh, have some fun playing with these. Can't wait to see what folks do with all of these uh, awesome custom billboards. I know this has been uh, something we've been asking for for so, so long. So, thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, help me grow the channel, I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And if you'd like to be notified when I post a new video, please hit that bell notification. Thank you guys for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one.